<laughs> That's better. <laughs> So, I, uh, as a lot of you guys know, I'm working on a new furnace for my, um, for, for my foundry here at the house. And it's going to be really nice. You've seen some pictures of it on Instagram. I posted a picture last week on, the, on my community post. Um, and I was out here going to work on it tonight, and I realized, actually I was going to work on it last night, and I realized that I really can't go any further with the body of the furnace until I get the burner situation figured out. And my old one, I had cut a hole in the burn in the furnace, and I kind of just shoved the pipe into the best I could into the hole, and it didn't really fit, and it was at kind of a bad angle, and it just wasn't great. So I wanted to make it better this time around, and I decided what I would do is, for lack of a better model, I went ahead and modeled the uh, the Devil Forge thing, where the the tube coming out of the side and the and the burner fits inside that tube and has some screws around it that clamp it down and hold it in position. And I thought, well, I'll do that. Well, I couldn't do that <laughs> until I modified my my, uh, uh, my existing burner, and you'll see why here in just a minute. But uh, I got it done. Uh, I'll show you the thing here at the end, and we'll come back and I'll talk. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I talked the whole time. It may be awful, but hang in there. Okay, so this is the burner that I've been using in my um, in my furnace, and I got to the point where in, in a new furnace build where I really needed to I wanted I wanted to retrofit this burner to fit into the new furnace. The new furnace is going to be more like you see with the uh, the Devil Forge stuff, right? Where there's going to be a tube that the, the burner will go into, and uh, I got to look at it, at their burners. Well, first of all, mine was like this, right? Plumbing, plumbing pieces. It had this flare on the end, and that actually burns pretty nice just with this thing on the end of it. The the Devil Forge burners have they look they look kind of like this, right? There's a little there's a sleeve. Um, they have a little bit of a flare on the very end. I mean, a tiny little flare on the very end. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna see if we can make this thing work. I don't know if it's going to go. I would love it if it worked. I don't think there's enough space in here, and I can move this around while we're trying to see if it it will do it. Essentially, I think it's the Bernoulli effect. Um, we want to be able to take the gas and air that's moving at a certain speed through this part of the tube, push it into a larger opening, thus slowing it down, kind of like we do with our gates, right? We go from a runner, a, a small runner to a larger gate to slow the metal down. We want to do the same thing with this, with the gas. We want to slow the gas and air down. I don't know, I mean, we're not talking a lot here, right, guys? And we're talking, you know, a little. <laughs> an eighth of an inch, maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch, you know, maybe something like 12 millimeter. Um, so anyway, we're going to give this a shot. We're going to see what, um, 12, is that right? Maybe six, six mil. So anyway, let's just give this a shot and see what, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so that's not, it's not staying lit. And that's it about, let's just do it right here. Basically like that. And that's not staying lit either. So I'm going to come out a little further. This is my fear is that it's, this is not actually going to be in a big enough area. But again, <laughs> maybe it is. Hmm. So. Wow, that's that's about that far, uh, but that seems to be working. So I may play around with this just a little bit more and see if we can't improve improve that. That's 
too short, but you can see the flame starting to go out. That cone doesn't look too bad. So, wow, that's, uh, you can see how big that, that's that much space. Uh, I'll weld it on there like that, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there and see. All right, I got it all, I got it all cleaned up um, so I can weld it nice. And the problem I have <laughs> is the fact that this doesn't, there's some, there's too much play in there. So I got to figure out a way to jam something in there just to hold it semi straight while I'm well and centered a little bit too. I'd like to get it as centered as I can. Let's see what I can figure out here. <laughs> I'm never gonna get this out of here, but I got that wire jammed in there pretty good. And just looking with a straight edge, it's got the pretty straight gap here and a pretty straight gap here as well. So I'm gonna call that good. Let's get a welder up. There it is, my retrofitted uh, burner. I think, let's just see here. I uh, Hopefully this will work. I think it looks nice. <laughs> it does run. Burn out all the junk that's in there and uh, I think it'll start running blue. All right. All right, last test. Um, this will be mounted to the furnace wall. This piece here will slide will slide into it, um, just the opposite of what I just did. And um, I'm going to put this on here uh, to simulate what it's going to be like going through the furnace wall. Right about, I mean that. Ideally, I think I want this piece to be flush with the end of this pipe, so it doesn't get, doesn't get real hot. But there's going to be about an inch to an inch and a half of furnace wall that this is going to be sitting outside of. So I'm going to, I'm going to basically, I'm going to simulate that by putting it out, this guy out here, because this would be uh, the refractory cement tunnel that this flame is basically going to go through. So let's, uh, let's see what she does. All right, I am happy with that. <laughs> Very happy with that. That's gonna work great. I don't have to change anything back here on, on this end of the, of the burner. So my valve, my, my uh, nozzle, which is a, a welding tip can all stay, all this can stay. Uh, so that's great. So let me just tell you what I got here. And I'll actually, I can put up a, a measured drawing. Yeah, I'll, put it, I'll put it in the description. I'll put a link to a measured drawing for this guy. So this is uh, a one inch to inch and a half uh, flare plumbing, just a plumbing fitting you can get at any hardware store. This is a 12 inch by one inch nipple. If you go to a hardware store, that's what you're looking for is a 12 inch by one inch nipple. That's what I've got. Um, this piece of pipe here is got a two inch OD and a one and three quarter inch ID. It's four inches long. This piece of metal right here uh, is at 1.66 OD and 1.37 ID. So probably one and three eighths on the inside and whatever that is, one and five eighths ish uh, on the outside. So that's kind of what we got going. I picked up this piece. I picked up this piece at a scrapyard today, less than 10 bucks for, for that. And that's only because this I had to go buy off the new pile if I could have found it used, it would have been four bucks total. But anyway, that's still not, I'm not too going to complain. Ten bucks to retrofit this burner to fit better in my um, in my furnace. Money well spent. All right, so uh, there you go. I am really pleased with it. I will, as I said earlier, uh, just a second ago, I mean, I'll put a measure drawing down in the uh, description. 
it'll be rough, rough measure drawing, right? But if you want to build a um, uh, your own burner, it is very doable. Uh, mine has worked really well, and I'm pretty, pretty darn pleased with that guy over there now. Uh, I've got a link. I've got a video where I built a burner. I'll put it up there, I guess, and. Um, Give it a shot. I mean, it's not that hard. I but the first one I built was all plumbing parts, except for one for welding tip, and you can get those anywhere. So uh, it's very doable. Anyway, that was it. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this darn furnace done here shortly. You guys have a great day.